Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're all having a great day. Today I have some test hands for the Invoked Shadal deck that I have up on my channel now. So if you haven't checked it out yet, please do. I got all the cards, layout, all that good stuff there. So let's do some test hands and uh, maybe we'll do a couple playthroughs on here as well. If at any point you guys find this video entertaining or helpful in some sort of way, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as there will be new content every single day. All right, without further ado, let's hop on right into this. So we got all of our monsters here and you guys can already tell it's, uh, it's shuffled pretty good. So we will give it a few shuffles first though. Let's do it up. And um, you guys will be able to see that this deck is actually, like I said in the other video, it is consistent. So here's our five cards. Per se, we're going first turn. So we got Performance Trick Clown, Pot of Desires, Shadal Fusion, and Shadal Beast. So this is actually a really good hand. Uh, you can go, you can fuse for that, but you know what I would do? You got, you got your play right here, so I go Shadal, send Trick, Trick will resummon, uh, Skomata will send, and then most likely you're gonna end up with a Cross Sheet play there, because you're gonna wanna send that out with the Construct, Construct in that case would send your trap, your incarnation. Um, but we're just doing a few test hands. I don't want to be too long on explaining each one of them because I do want to be able to do like maybe a playthrough at least. Uh, this ain't a combo video. I will have combo videos up for this very deck here, but that is not today. I just want to show you guys mainly the consistency of the deck, its draw value. So let's hop right into hand number two. And we have Windy, Performance Trick Clown, Evenly Matched, Damage Juggler, and Shadal Fusion. Again, not a bad hand. This one I'd probably go, well, you, yeah, probably do that. Send, use Damage Juggler, re-get back a, well, you're not gonna because I only run one. But uh, yeah, again, you, uh, again, great pull. You have options in this. You really can, you can combo off, so. As you guys can tell, very consistent. Every single pull, very consistent, it seems. Uh, like I said, you really don't have those opportunities where you draw a brick. You do, you do, but they're so rare. They're just so rare with this. Again, Squamata, Incarnation, Magical Melt, Trick Clown again. So right here, obviously, you would send that, grab your Alistair, and you would invocation for these two guys right here. Go into construct. Again, just beautiful draw hands that we're getting here. And we're not just getting lucky. These these are actual hands that you will be drawing quite consistently when playing this. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check it out. Foolish Burial, Alistair, Hedgehog, Terraforming, and melt so in this case i would probably grab mystic mine with the terraforming as we do run it um because you're already gonna have the magical melt and you already have alistair so you don't need it right away at least if you go crystal mine you can turn it off with the magical melt later so again just consistent now let's draw a couple of going second hands because this is this is considered a going second deck it is good going first as well as you do have you know window you do have all the invoked monsters that can really clog there we go six but uh it's mainly about going second we got foolish burial mystic mine on the draw el shadal fusion hedge melt rashadal incarnation so there you go you got that and i'd probably go get el shadal fusion Probably go Magical Melt, grab Alistair, link off into Al Mirage, then get Secure Gardener, then go Hedge and Secure. Um, get into that Construct play. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I thought my hand was, uh, my deck was backwards for a minute. I was like, oh, do I have half of it not the right way? But it looks like we are good. It looks like we're all right. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. El Shadal Fusion, Rishadal Windy, Alistair, Allure of Darkness, 
and a trick clown and a magical mount. So again, just so, I mean, the amount of plays that is in this hand alone is actually pretty insane. I mean, you can go Allure with virtually no problem because you could always grab this Alistair back and then you could just use Magical Melt to grab an Alistair, you know, go like that, grab the Alistair, then you could play Allure with no stress. Like you'll have two Alistairs. So what, if you have to banish one, you're gonna get it back anyways. All right, let's get into a test hand. Even if we don't play the hand to its full extent, because again, this isn't a combo video and I don't want to take up the entire video just doing one combo as they can last very long. So let's do a turn one playthrough. All right, so suppose we're turn one, have no idea what they're gonna do. So we got damage juggler, dragon, Wendy Invocation. So what I would do is I would probably go, hmm. For this, I'm gonna have to say Wendy Performance Damage Juggler. Damage Juggler and Wendy will create Construct. I'm trying to make sure this is all on the video as well. So that would create Construct and then we would have to chain link. So we would have Chain link one, two, three. So Wendy, in this case scenario, it's set Ariel. So that's Ariel. And then Damage Juggler would banish himself to grab that mysterious trick clown that we have in here. And uh, half of my deck is backwards. See, I, I told you, I, I was like, am I seeing things or is this real? It's real, it's really real. My deck is all over the place. Wow, it's bad too. That's crazy. Okay, Trick Clown. So now our hand's looking a little bit like this. We got the Construct. Construct will be the next send. So with Construct, you can already guess what we're gonna send. We are going to send the Trap. Incarnation. There we go. Grab Incarnation. And then we're going to actually link off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Performance Trick Clown. We're just gonna summon him. Then we're gonna link him off. Cross Sheep, Construct, link off, then Banish Construct with Incarnation. That will flip Ariel, which will re-summon Construct in Defense, Position, Performance Trick Clown, Send to the graveyard, spend the 1,000, resummon. Cross Sheep is then going to activate. You can add back one of these. Go with Wendy. And then from there, I would probably say end. I want, I want to say end. Um, but you might want to link off first. So the right thing might be to do little weird for a turn one, but we're just showing some stuff. Is pop these boys, get that out, or even better yet, probably leave Windy. Just go like that. Mm. But uh, that's just a small playthrough. That's that's probably not the best thing you can do with that hand, to be honest. I'm just, I'm trying to be quick about this and just show you guys that it is very easy to combo off. You always do grab a consistent hand to where you can do combos. You can pull stuff off right away. It's not like one of those decks where you're like, oh, let me, uh, I'll just send it. And then that's it, end turn. And uh, if that doesn't work, then they're out, you know? And that's not really what we're trying to do here. So let's do a turn two, three, four, five, six. All right, what do we got? We got a Shadal Fusion, a Shadal Beast, an Allure of Darkness, a Foolish Burial, a Shadal Beast, and an El Shadal Fusion card. Perfect. I'm gonna go, first play of the game is I'm gonna go Allure of Darkness. We're gonna draw two off the top. Those two are gonna be Magical Melt and Shadal Fusion, and we will banish a Dark Monster, which will be Beast. So Beast will go to the Banish. You guys can't see the Banish file, it's off to the side, but you know he's there. So that's it for Allure. Got our little graveyard on the side there. Next card we will play is Magical Meltdown. Go into the deck, 
and we will grab ourselves an Alistair. There we go. Magical Melt is now on the field. It's over here, field spell. I guess I'll move it like right there so you guys can see it. Summon Alistair, get the normal summon off on Alistair. Now we're just trying to grab an invocation. Boom, invocation, looking good. So this is what our hand is looking like right now. So now we're going to go Foolish Burial, send one monster from the deck to the grave. We are going to send. Looking for him. We're looking for a hedgehog here. So we're gonna send hedgehog. And with hedgehog, we will add a Wendy to hand. Perfect. Now, with Alistair, we are going to link off Alistair into Al Mirage. Alistair will go to the grave. Then after that, we will link off Al Mirage into Secure Gardener. Then we will go Shadal Fusion for Wendy and Gardner, which will then, because that's a light attribute, you are going to create Construct. Now you're gonna have your chain links. So chain link one, chain link two, Wendy will set. So Wendy will go into the deck and Wendy will set the area. Looking a little familiar, I know. Uh, again, Construct is just gonna send the Reshadal Incarnation at this point. And there we go. Then the next play that we're going to do is we need to get rid of that, right? So we have multiple options on what we could do here, but what I'm thinking that we can do, it's a little bit of a weird call. You know what? No, no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a weird approach. So Construct is gonna dump a beast, right? If we, oh, I don't think we have a beast. No, we don't, we don't. Okay, we can't do that play anyways. So what we will do is send the incarnation. Okay. <sighs> Invoke. Invoke, invoke. Alistair, Gardner. Boom. Mechaba. We'll go Mechaba. And then from there. Well, we could do that, add that to hand, but you know what? Let's, let's not do that. We're just gonna keep the field the way it is. We're going to banish Wendy. With Reshadal. Oh, my lighting, my bad. Reshadal. Let Ariel, Ariel, summon Wendy onto the field. Life's looking real good on that side. Add Alistair back to hand by putting Invocation back into the deck. You then add, where is Alistair? Here he is. Now this is what our hand looks like currently. So then we're going to El Shadal Fusion with Beast and Alistair to make a Winda. And then we can, uh, if, if we want, we could link off again. Uh, why is my invocation? <laughs> it was supposed to go to the deck, it went to the extra deck. But um, we could actually link off here if we wanted to and to like invoke our madness. Uh, we could have done that beforehand and that would have grabbed another invocation from a discard. The only thing is I'm not trying to discard Shadal Fusion. Uh, and then Beast will obviously draw one off the top. Beast just drew another invocation because when Beast gets sent, that's his effect and he's getting sent with Alistair. So this is pretty much your end board here, but depends what you wanted to do. You could always do a Boral as well, but if you guys enjoyed this video at all or found it helpful in some sort of way, please do drop a like and please consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. There'll be plenty more videos up on my channel soon.
Thank you so much. Peace out.